Starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Jeff, are you coming? In a minute. Well, hurry up, honey. I don't have all day. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> I don't think it's so funny. <laughs> oh, come to think of it, neither do I. I paid $22 for that suit just last summer. Well, I can't help it if I'm grown up, can I? You might try not growing up so fast. <laughs> Come on, Rossi. Oh. Actually, I didn't really mean that, Jeff. Mothers are funny that way. They'd like their children to go tall and strong, and then when it comes time to buy clothes, they'd like them to stay small a little longer. Well, there's really nothing I can do about it. <laughs> well, say, is it okay if I read my mineralogy handbook while you're doing this? All right. I might as well get going. Why, aren't you going to wait for Porky? He's over a half an hour late. Maybe he hasn't finished his chores yet. I finished mine. Besides, if he says 2 o'clock, he means 3. If he makes a date for Monday, he's just liable to show up on Tuesday. I don't understand why he can't get any place in time. Psychological, I guess. Hey, Yorkie! Oh, you see, there he is. Hi! Well, guess what I got? I weeded the garden this afternoon, and my mom gave me a quarter. And that's all I needed, because well, I saved all the rest. So I went right down and bought it. Bought what, dear? This. A big leaguer. There's eight weeks of hard work in that ball. I didn't think I'd ever get it. Oh, it's just beautiful, Porky. Uh, how about that, Jeff? Yeah. I, I'm sorry I was late, Jeff, but I just had to get it. You want to look at it? Sure. Oh, boy, it's a beauty. Isn't about time we started getting going? Uh, yeah. See you later, boys. Bye, Miss Miller. Don't forget the lunch, Jeff. It's on top of the icebox. Okay. Bye, Mom. Chuck this and play baseball. Because we gotta find some rocks for the school exhibit. And how are we gonna find any if we don't look? We've been looking for almost an hour. You just wanna play with that new ball of yours. Mm, why not? Save for weeks and weeks to get this ball. It's the first big league ball I ever had. We can play ball later, Porky. But we can't look for rocks unless we're here. And we're here, so let's look for rocks. Mm, okay. It's a gold nugget! Solid gold! Let me see! That's fool's gold. Oh, no, it isn't. That's real gold, I'll bet you. Don't be silly, Porky. Look, gold isn't found in this part of the country. Uh-huh. It says in the mineralogist's book that gold is found in almost every rock. Well, they mean flakes, tiny pieces, not nuggets like that. I'll prove it to you in the book. Here it is, fool's gold. What does it say? It says, iron pyrites is one of the minerals known as fool's gold, as it is often mistaken for gold by the amateur mineralogist. And we're amateur mineralogists. One of the simplest ways of distinguishing the two is to test the surface of the specimen with a knife blade. The hardness of pyrites is such that it is not scratched by a knife, while gold is soft and is easily scratched by a knife. Go ahead, test it. Okay, I will. Just bet that this is gold.
You see, Porky? Let's play ball. Well, we can't give up now. Porky, we gotta turn in something Monday, and we don't have anything that can win a prize. Well, this is only Saturday. We still have tomorrow, and Woody showed me a wonderful spot for rocks. I'll take you there tomorrow. Well, let's go today. We can't, Chris. It's too far. Come on, let's play ball. Oh, okay. My glove's in my room. March in the back of my bike. Come on, girl. Come on, Pokey. Now, that big piece of grass out there is first base. And that's second. And that big tree over there is third base. And this is home plate. Okay. All right? That's it. You get way out in the field now. Way out there. Go on. just a rock. Now, where's the ball? Yeah, she probably thinks it went in one of those holes out there. Well, then that's where it is. Wait a minute. Feel how light this is. I'll bet it's a geode. Ah, uh, it's just a stone. Come on, let's look for the ball. Wait a minute. We can look for that later. If this is really a geode, we could win an award at the exhibit. Well, I'm not going to give up looking for my ball for any old award. Well, you look for it, then. If you don't find it, we'll come back and help you. Come on, girl. Let's get Gramps to crack this open. Come on. Boy. Well, that's just as bad as fielder as you are. Come on, Cole. Gramps! Gramps! Lassie found a rock, and I'll bet it's a geode. Would you crack it open for me? What in tarnation is a geode? Well, it's a rock full of crystals, and they shine and sparkle, and it's real beautiful. You mean there's crystals in that? Looks to me just like a plain rock. Well, that's what it looks like. Would you help me crack it open? No, yeah, it's one thing after another. How do you open it? With a hammer and cold chisel. Well, I reckon that won't be too much trouble. Now, right about here, you want... No, Gramps! You can't do it like that. You'll smash it into a million little pieces. You got to chisel a little groove around it very carefully just to get it started. Then you can give it a wallop. Well, that's a heap of trouble. Please do it right, Gramps. If it is one, I can win an award with it at the exhibit. How do you know there's crystals in there? Well, I don't. It's just a hunch on account of the weight. Feel it. It's much lighter than it should be. Well, if you say so. But if I'm wasting my time fooling around with this rock, you're going to feel mighty sheepish. Well, I apologize now in case I'm wrong. Well, that'll be just dandy, won't it? Well, here we go, boy. Now, is that right where you want it? Right yeah, there? very easy. Oh, Gramps, please. Oh, young'uns. Easy now, easy. Hey, Polk, there it is. Oh, it's just another stone. Come on, Pokey. You know, I've lived my whole life through, and I don't ever remember seeing a joke before. And I reckon I ain't gonna mind if I never see one again. Well, how much longer will this take? Well, it's going to take some time if we do the job right. Yeah? You're going to help me look for my ball. Porky, I told you I'd help you look for it later. Now, Gramps is cracking open the geo, and that's much more important. More important? I've been saving for weeks to get that ball. The first big league ball I ever had. Nothing's more important. Oh, you won't think so when this turns out to be real. Half of it's yours, you know. I don't want it. I just want my ball, and it's your fault I lost it. My fault? That's right, your fault. You hit it, and that stupid dog of yours lost it. 
She's not stupid, and she didn't lose it. It's in that woodchuck hole. Oh, no, it isn't in that hole. Pokey me dug down three feet. Well, you should have dug six. If she thinks it's there, then that's where it is. You're always sticking up for that dumb dog of yours. She brought back a rock instead of the ball, didn't she? You call her dumb once more, I'm gonna clobber you. <laughs> She's dumb. That's it. There ain't gonna be no fighting around here. <laughs> You gonna help me find that ball or not? No. He's the one who's stupid. What's well, Porky, honey? What's the matter? <laughs> Jeff, why is Porky crying? Oh, he's mad because I won't just drop everything, help him find his baseball. Well, what are you doing? Gramps is splitting that rock for me, and this is more important. Well, to you, but evidently not to Porky. Well, why do I have to just go this very minute because he wants me to? Well, you don't. Nobody has to do anything just because somebody else wants him to do it. Gramps doesn't have to split that rock for you just because you want him to, either. Well, all right. Gramps, can you wait till I get back to crack that open? Well, it won't be ready too soon. Okay. Come on, girl. Oh, I'll hurry. Say, hey, why are you splitting that rock? Well, I don't know. You sure the ball went down this tunnel? <laughs> You found it! Oh, good girl! Oh, thank goodness. I'm sorry for doubting you, Lassie. Honest. Look, will you take it to Porky for me? Oh, I don't want to have anything to do with him. Go on, take it to Porky. No, dogs can't have cream puffs. It'll make you sick. So there's something wrong with this one. No, Pokey, come on back here. Why don't you go on home? I'm not wanted around here. I'll just bet it wasn't in the hole. Come on, Poe. The ball was in the hole. I sent it over with Lassie. Well, now that's all settled, we can get on with the big opening, huh? Boy, that's a swell groove, Gramps. <laughs> There's nothing too good for this rock. crystals would be inside that ordinary rock. I would. You sure did, boy. Beautiful, ain't it? Lassie, look what you found. Isn't it pretty? It was worth the trouble, boy. I hope you win the prize. I'll bet I do, Gramps. Well, I gotta call Porky. Lassie couldn't tell him she was right about the ball, and I want him to know. Come on, girl. Jenny, this is Jeff. Let me talk to Porky, please. Hello. Hello, Porky. Well, you got your baseball back. Oh, and I just wanted you to know something, Mr. Smarty. The ball was in the hole. Lassie was right. Well, I couldn't find it. Well, she did. So now who's stupid? All right, so she's not stupid. Just wanted to hear you say it. 
Oh, and something else I'd like to tell you. We cracked open the rock, and it is a geode. So she not only was right about the baseball, but she found a geode besides. Now, that's pretty smart. Boy, a geode. We didn't win an award with that. Wait. You said you didn't want half of it. Oh, I did not. I just said I didn't want it then. I never said I didn't ever want it. You sure did. Gramps heard you. I did not. Now, listen here, Jeffrey Miller. We have a pact. We're supposed to go halfsies on everything. Not on this, we're not. You got mad at Lassie and said you didn't want half of it. Well, now you're not getting any of it. Mom, do you think I ought to give Lassie credit on the donation card for finding the geode? Well, that would be very nice, Jeff. After all, she did find it. Then I will. Chocolate cake, huh? Yep. Oh, would you save me what's left in the bowl after you're through with it? <laughs> I can't for the life of me understand what's so good about uncooked batter. It's almost as good as the cake. <laughs> I'll show him. Well, I saw Jeffrey in the house, Mrs. Miller. You can tell him from me. I brought back everything he ever gave me. I know you boys have been arguing all day, but don't you think this is going a little too far? No, I don't. We made a pass to go halves. He's on everything. And then he wants the geode all to himself, so I just don't want to have anything to do with him. But you said you didn't want half of the geode, Corky. Well, I did not, Mrs. Miller. He just thinks I said it. He's just mad because I said Lassie was gone. Well, now, that really wasn't very nice, was it, Porky? Now, wouldn't you be mad if, if Jeff said Pokey was done? Of course not. He is done. All right, Mr. Sylvester Brockway. You brought back everything I gave you. Now you can just take back your stuff. You can ask for them anyway. Well, it's too late. I beat you to it. Hmm. Well, I've just got one more thing to say. I don't ever want to see you again. Well, that goes double. All right. Come on, Pope. Don't worry, Lassie. We're not losing our friend. Oh, it's too bad you boys are breaking up. Now, you've been friends for such a long time. I don't care. Just because he gets mad at Lassie and says he doesn't want the geode, well, he can't change his mind. But Porky obviously doesn't think he said it, Jeff. Perhaps you misunderstood what he meant. I didn't misunderstand anything. I heard him. Thanks, girl. Jeff, the bowl is ready. I'm busy. I don't want it now, Mom. I watched it. Well, I didn't say I didn't want it. I just said I didn't want it then. Oh, I thought you changed your mind. Well, you misunderstood me. I said... I didn't misunderstand anything. I heard what you said. You said, I don't want it now, Mom. Well, I know that's what I said, but you misunderstood what I meant. Oh, then I guess sometimes people do misunderstand other people's meaning. Sorry, Jeff. I didn't want it then. 
I never said I didn't ever want it. I didn't say I didn't want it. I just said I didn't want it then. Then I guess sometimes people do misunderstand other people's meaning. Sorry, Jeff. I should like to commend all you children for the very excellent contributions to the mineralogy exhibit. We've never had so many interesting and unusual specimens. But I honestly feel that the most outstanding contribution is the amethyst geode found by Lassie. <laughs> and donated by Jeffrey Miller and Sylvester Brockway. name on it. Why not? We go halfsies on everything.